Hey, have you ever heard of this podcast called Chatting from the Word? No. What's it about? It's about Christianity and enlightenment. Period, queen. You tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Dippy. I'm talking about this stuff in the middle. It has absolutely nothing to do with the melody. That was a message, y'all.
hold me back, trouble may come. Day or night, I'm a child of God, and I feel alright with my soul. Amen, amen, and amen. Sorry about that. It is the two o'clock hour, and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, through your Spreaker platform, where we're chatting about the Word and from the Word, and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are so glad, so glad, so glad to do it. This is Wednesday again, my friends. The Lord has blessed us with another Wednesday. And, of course, this is our uh, music time once again. That's why we began with playing three of your favorite hits here on Chatting from the Word. They were Belfort Street Church along with Frank Melton III. Call him up. And then the next one was My Soul is Anchored in the Lord. Redeemed. Amen. And amen. And Brother Oscar is so glad to bring you those beautiful, beautiful hits to uplift your day to day and bring a little joy in your life. Get you away from all the humdrum and the bing bong and all that that goes on in the world. Get you away from all the presidential talk and all the corona talk. And we you know what Brother Oscar is talking about. Trying to get you all excited about being in the Lord. And this is what Brother Oscar tried to do here on chatting uh, from uh, the word. Amen, amen, and amen. And if this be your first time listening in, do not allow it to be your last time. Come back and hear us again. We are so delighted that you have your ears on and that you're listening to us here on chatting uh, from the uh, word. We here in Dayton, Ohio, we are doing fantastic. Uh, we having a wonderful, beautiful day. And uh, we are so delighted that it is cool, brisk, but it's, you know, for this time of the weather, for this time of the year. You know how it gets in Ohio. It gets cool, and, but it's, it's all right once you, get, <laughs> once you get accustomed to it. I'm laughing because I remember when I first came down here to Ohio, from Texas to Ohio, and the difference in the weather. To me, it was cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let me say cold when I first moved down here. But you know, well, over the years, uh, Brother Oscar has uh, come adjusted to how the weather does here in Dayton, Ohio, and it is fantastic. Amen and amen. The weather, people say, is 77 degrees, partly cloudy, low chance of precipitation on tonight, 10%. Humidity is 44%, dew point is at 52 degrees, and pressure 
is at 30. To me, my friends, that sounds like an okay and wonderful day. And I hope you're having a wonderful day where you are in the world. Amen, amen, and amen. But you know what Brother Oscar always says. Regardless of what's going on on the outside, it can be raining cats and dogs. It can be 50 feet of snow at my door. But as long as I have the Lord on the inside, I'm all right. I have sunny days every day, 24-7, because I have the Son of God. And we recognize you have them too because you have your ears on. Amen and amen. Amen. Again, we're so delighted that you're with us and that you're ready to hear some fine, fine music for some fine, fine artists. As I just said, we played our first two or three songs first, and, and then we're going to play our next two, uh, three songs after prayer, after our prayer time. And during our prayer time, you know, we, we play our prayer anthem, which is Sweet Hour of Prayer. Song by Radiance Acapella. And the song that's going to be after that would be, uh, let me see here you all, would be Praise and Harmony, Jubilee, Don't You Want to Go? And then it would be Acapella, Abba Father, very beautiful song. And after that, be time to move on, the Southside Singers. And then we're going to take our break. And we'll come back with the closing prayer. And then we we'll go back to our closing song. Amen, amen, and amen. So, my friends, just get relaxed. Are you relaxed? And if you are, if you truly are relaxed, go have a cup of your favorite beverage coffee, tea, milk, juice, soda water, soda pop, uh, uh, soda pop, whatever you call it, or uh, a nice glass of. Uh, uh, Iced tea, a nice glass of lemonade or orange juice, and just go ahead on and relax, my friends. And if you're at home, if you're at home, go ahead on and relax in your reclining chair or, or stretch out on your couch or on the floor while you listen to your brother here, uh, Brother Oscar York. Now, uh, if you're driving, trying to get to point A to point B, Keep your eyes on the road while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym trying to get tough and mean and green and just trying to build the muscles or, or just exercising, put your earbuds on while you're exercising so that you can keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Amen, amen, amen. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we, my friends? All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages.
Amen, amen, and amen. My friends, that was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance Acapella. And this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can message it to me on our messenger page. Or you can put it on our Facebook page that's dedicated to the program. Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar York. Right slash Oscar York Publishing dot com, or you can uh, e- you can mail it to, uh, or you can go to our web page and put your prayer request there. Our web page again, Oscar York Publishing dot com. And we'd be so delighted that you do that, and we're not uh, we're not sure if the chat work room is working or not. But as I said on yesterday, we will have. Uh, it open where you can just call it in on the show if you have a prayer request or you want to have a uh, talk with Brother Oscar. Uh, that would be uh, fine too. Maybe not a long talk because you never know who else may want to talk on the program. But we would have it all fixed up where you can uh, call in your request, prayer request or just have a talk with your brother uh, during the program. We really do not mind. Amen. And amen. And you know what Brother Oscar been uh, praying for for several months, almost a year now since we've been, uh, the world been going through this pandemic. And um, those, to me, to me, you know, I guess you have your own opinion about it, but to me, it don't seem like no one is doing anything about it and people still dying from it, to be honest with you. And people are still going to the hospital with it. You know, I just don't hear too much talk about it because, uh, you know, I just sometimes just turn off the news sometime and just get into the Word for a little while and get relaxed and listen to, to my show sometimes or just music, you know, to lift up the Lord and help me stay focused on Him. And that's what Brother Oscar would do on his spare time. Also, so uh, I, I haven't been paying close attention to it. I should, <laughs> and most of you might be saying, "Shame on you, brother Oscar." But yeah, I should pay more, more uh, close attention to what's really going on here. And of course, we are going to pray for those that have contracted uh, this coronavirus, and pray for those that have lost loved ones to this virus. And of course. Uh, we've been praying for those that have been slaughtered by the hands of the police and the policemen themselves, and of course, uh, for the political world and for the church and for you all, our listeners, and for the program. All right, all right, all right. But before we approach the uh, throne of grace, I would love to read from the 23rd Division of Psalms. And here David writes, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I would fear no evil. For thou art with me, the rod and the staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with all my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. David has it right, you know. To be in the Lord, he's your shepherd, he's your guide, and he's your protector. 
Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, our Father, we love calling your name. Father, we love calling on you. Especially, Father, when we are going through something. When we're going through a battle. When we're going through something that we just don't understand. Oh, Father. Father, Father, Father. We love calling on you. Oh, Father. We recognize you, Jehovah Jireh. We recognize, Father, that you see and you provide. Oh, Father, sometimes in this world, we just need to hold you close and closer to us. Because sometimes, Father, the world either just don't care or just don't understand. But, Father, we are so thank you so much. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father, for our health and strength. Thank you, Father, for the food we eat and the roof over our backs. Father, we are so grateful, so grateful for that. And we just want to thank you, Father, all over the place. But, Father, at this time, we want to act prepare for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you be with them, help the doctors to uh, to put the right, give them the right medicine so that they may be healed and they may be whole uh, once again. And Father, we pray for those that have lost loved ones through this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you will be with each and every one of them. Comfort them in the only way you know how. Father, put your loving arms around them. Allow them to know all things will be. Okay, and Father, we come praying for those that have lost loved ones to the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them also. Allow them to know things happen or occur for a reason. Allow them to know as long as they keep their hands in your changing hands, things will be fine. Oh, Father, we come praying for those policemen who feel like they just need to pull the trigger and ask questions later. Father, we pray that the government give them the right training. Father, especially those that have killed someone. I believe that, that justice needs to be done and they need to leave the force or, or something. I, I just don't know. But Father, we recognize it's all in your hands and your will will be done. And Father, we come praying for the political leaders. In this world, all we act, we, we will ask that they may start looking up to you for whence comes their help, so that they may lead us as citizens in the right way, so that we may have peace and harmony in a world that don't seem like they care about that. And Father, we come praying for the church, Father, help us through the pandemic to still remain the church, still remain in your son's body, still remain strong in love, unity, and peace. Father, help us to always tell the truth and, and love the truth wherever where we go. Father, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with them. Help them through uh, this pandemic. Help them through the, the personal problems they are having. Help them through the, and navigate through this world that is not accustomed to us as Christians. Help them to just navigate through the mountains, through the streams, and through the storms. And Father, we come praying for our program here, Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep it on the air. Help us to be, uh, to be a light. In every community we are heard and help us to lead others to you and to allow others to know that you're on to open wide to receive them, you and Jesus Christ, your son. And Father, we come 
just praying for all those that need praying for on this fine afternoon. Praying for those that we have prayed for on the program before and praying for myself, Lord, that we, uh, that, that uh, I may be just fine. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. We want to thank you for praying along with us, and we hope that we prayed for something that is on your minds. Amen, amen, amen. And we hope you all have your ears on and still listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, on Chatting from the Word on your speaker platform, where we're chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting a snap. In your Christian walk. Amen, amen, amen. And we are so delighted, so delighted to do it today and so blessed to do it. All right, all right, all right. Where are we? We will be right back after these messages. All right, we are back, and I know you're glad that we're back. We're glad that we're back, too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the messages, but we're glad that we're back, and we're glad to bring you this program to you every uh, Monday through Fridays, and on Saturday evening, we just, uh, you know, if we have nothing to get in the way of bringing the program, sometimes it is. You know how it, it gets sometimes. You've been with me long enough to know that we've been having some mishaps Mishap sometimes that was under it was under our control and we just couldn't come on. But we do our best, my friends, to bring some love <laughs> in your world and put a snap in your Christian walk. Okay, but this time, at this time, you know, we try to act for donations or uh, someone that can sponsor our show. You know, everything costs money, and we try, we try here. I'll be honest with you, Brother Oscar put in 125% to keep this program on the air. And I know many of you might not, you know, don't, don't agree with giving to a worthy cause. But I believe the gospel of Jesus Christ is a worthy cause. And if you believe it too, help us out here. Help us to uh, show the world Jesus Christ. Christ and hoping that they will come to Christ. And to me, that is a worthwhile thing to do. And here's my sister, way from Youth to Texas, to share all the details with you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, sis. Thank you for sharing all those details with us. And we uh, hope that you heard it. She did, and I can repeat it. I can try to repeat it. She said that if you have a, a contributions that you want to put toward the show, go to my PayPal account, which is lowercase, uh, you can of course, you have to pull up the PayPal webpage and, to, and then put in my uh, email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And of course, to my Chase account, Zells, uh, on Zells, uh, again, put in my, uh, my email address again, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com and we hope that you will do that and do it as soon as you can do it today after you listen 
uh, to uh, the program. We will be so delighted that you will uh, do just that. And we hope you have your ears open. Oscar, no, you do. Because Oscar, no, you love him. You love the Lord. First of all, you love him. And you love the show. You love each other. And I think that is a beautiful combination. What about you? And I know you listen. We know you have your ears on. And, if, and, and since you're listening, tell your friends about us here at Chatting from the Word. Let them know that we are on at 2 o'clock Monday through Fridays and 7 o'clock on Saturday evenings with a fine program. Let them know that we're sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, playing some fine, fine a cappella hits to lift up their day. And when we share it with you, share it with them. I don't know if I'm the only one sharing the program, at least I hope I'm not, but share. The only way we can get people to listen to the program is to share the show. The only way we can get people to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and hope that, that they uh, uh, accept the saving invitation is to share, share, and share. And since you're listening and since you're sharing, like us also, like us here on Chatting from the Word and also be a part of our family. You know, be a part of our family. Subscribe to our show here on Chatting from the Word. We don't have too many subscribers. I wonder why. Do you love Bill Oscar? And if you do, subscribe to the show so that we can be a part of the same, same family. It would be just great. Amen. And amen. Yes, it will be. Uh, just great. I'm, I'm rattling my paper to see, <laughs> make sure I'm on, on course here, you all. I'm just making sure I, I'm on course here. But if you ever want to talk with your brother, you can always send an email uh, 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 e- uh, uh, email to my email address. <laughs> I'll look for something else. I don't know. It's another word. <laughs> Well, you can always send something to my email address. And my email address is lowercase oscar york 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can uh, go to our page on Facebook if you want to leave a message or two. Or you can uh, go to our webpage, oscaryorkpublishing.com, uh, and leave a line or two there. But while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storm, God is in Control, which sells for $21.50. And our second book, which is Bridges of Friendship, which also sells for $21.50. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. And we hope that you do that because all proceeds will go towards this fine, fine program that we bring on in your hearing every day. Except Sunday, <laughs> and uh, we 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 hope that you do that. Uh, go to our webpage and order you a book, and you know what Brother Oscar feels about reading. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes comes what it comes. Brother Oscar comes power. So, my friends, go visit OscarYarPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Amen. And amen. And, of course, we wanted to uh, tell you some more stuff here. You know, on yesterday, we mentioned about our T-shirts that we wear, that we are selling. If you are interested in buying a T-shirt that has our uh, uh, lo- our main logo on it. Do you have your ears on? And have a pair of ears <laughs> on the front. Do you have your ears on? And you know what the answer is. Yeah. On the back, yes. If you have your ears on, listen to chatting from the word. We'd be delighted if you love to buy one of our T-shirts, or several of our T-shirts, and of course proceeds will go toward the show. 
That's why we're selling the t-shirts. And the price of the t-shirts is $35, okay? And you can either send, uh, if you want to buy one, just send it a message to my email address again, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can call my son, Oscar York the Third, and his number is uh, one nine three seven eight three zero seven seven three nine. And let me repeat that: If you want to buy a T-shirt from us here, tell it from the Word. Just send it to my email address or to my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or call my son. His name is Oscar also. 937-830-7739. Amen. And amen. We got a few more readings. We got a few more things to do. I'm looking at the time, and time is just running down, and we had several more songs to play, and we're going to try to get all of them in, all of them in, <laughs> I'm here to get Brother Oscar, but it looks like it's going, we're going to be going over time here for a little while, We just want to tell you all the internet networks we come on, is VLC, Lob, Joy Savannah, Chrome Wellview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PowerPlayer.net, Chrome, ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, uh, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you have, and if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when two o'clock come Monday through Fridays, and seven o'clock in the evening come Saturday, you be ready to hear. A fine program from here, from us, excuse me, got the hiccup, <laughs> from us here at Chatting from the Word. Now, the music that we play here on Chatting from the Word, we do not own the copyrights of none of them. But what we want to suggest that you do is support these fine artists that we're playing here. The key word is support, support, support. Go buy the CDs, go hear them in concert, and let them know that you heard that song here on Chatting from the word, amen, 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 <laughs> amen, all right, we're just going to, let me see here, might make some arrangements here, but, okay, we're going to try, and if we can't finish all the songs, I might have to interrupt, but, um, let's try it, my friends, and our next selection will be Praise and Harmony. Jubilee, I don't want to go. Don't you want to go? And here we go.
Amen, amen, amen. That was praise and harmony. I want to be ready when Jesus comes. Don't you want to go to that place? And you believe. Don't you want to be ready when Jesus comes? I don't know about you, my friends, but I hope I'll be ready to go on home with him for through all, all eternity. Amen, amen. That was uh, praise and harmony. Amen. Uh, we're going to take a, uh, a, a station break. <laughs> a station break at this time. We see you all on the other side. All right, all right. We're on the other side, and we're so glad that you're with me and, and have come to the other side of the program after the station break. And we're glad that you're here, and we hope that you have your ears on. But <laughs> we're going to end the program at this time, and we are so I'm so delighted that you had a chance to listen to the program, and we're so delighted that we had a chance to broadcast this fine program to you and hoping to put a snap in your Christian walk and hoping to get you into Jesus Christ because that's what the world needs today. They need Jesus Christ and a time to just meditate on his word and on his beautiful, beautiful music and songs that we play here on Chatting from the Word. So join us tomorrow. We'll be coming on tomorrow, which is Thursday. Of course, we're going to uh, be doing our lesson. We are still in uh, Romans 11 chapter, and we are in tw uh, verses 26 to 36. And the topic is the mind of the Lord. Who knows the mind of the Lord? Who knows it? And the only way we, we can, can know the mind of the Lord is to study his word. And that's not all of it. <laughs> that's not all of it because Sometimes, I don't know if you like this, I wonder sometimes why he loves us so much. But he does. He loves us enough to die on the cross for us, to bring salvation down, put us in his body. But most of us, we don't want to accept his body. We want his body and be saved in him. We want to be saved. Think we can be saved in anything and anybody. But my friends, that's just not. God's word. That's just not in his word. Ain't no way you're going to find out you can go to the church of your choice. Ain't no way you can find out you can be saved any kind of way in the Bible. There's only one, one way. Let me get off my, my soapbox right now, but, but we enjoy bringing you this program today. We enjoy being with you today. We really have. We pray with thee, please. So, Father of Jordan, heaven, Lord, be thy name. Thy kingdom has come. Thy will is being done. Father, help us to always maintain a, a living in you. Maintain a good living in you. Show the world you and show the world how beautiful you really are. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name. Do we pray? Amen and amen. And as always, always we love chatting with you from chatting from the word. But love somebody today. I love everybody. We should love everybody. All right. And we out of here. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye. Thank you.
Oh, 